Today we are at Houston CollectorCon here in Texas. Look at the beautiful lazy river down there. And guys, I am gonna go and find who has the best mystery item on offer at the con? I had already had my sights set on a few mystery box stands. This one in particular had a mystery box for everything you could possibly imagine. Pokemon, Sailor Moon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Marvel, it was wild. And then I found these little mystery boxes. These were cute, they reminded me of Happy Meals. And the Pokemon was so derpy, it just drew me in. And they were fairly cheap as well. I made my way around the convention and as you can see, it was so busy, so I was trying to find the best mystery boxes that were still left and still available because as you can see people were picking them up left right and center so I didn't want to miss out on them so I grabbed one of these $20 mystery boxes it was a pretty big box as well for $20 then I headed to the happy meal stand I'm gonna call it the happy meal stand and I picked up one of these as well $25 each not bad so I was happy with that and then I thought I wanted to add a slab in somewhere so I just bought one of those single mystery pouches that just have one slab in and then I found this another $20 mystery box. Okay, so we have picked up four different items, slab, boxes, boxes, and a bag. And now we're gonna open them all and see which one is the best. Okay, so we are now gonna open all the mystery packages that I bought. But I just want to say a massive thank you to Joseph, one of the subscribers on my channel who has watched me for a long time. He gifted me these Japanese stamps today, which are so cool. So Joseph, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you. Um, he actually lives in Japan, so he picked these up there. And I also got this phone card, which I thought was really cool. So that's gonna go in the personal collection when we get home. But we are going to now open up these mystery items. So first we've got this $20 Pokemon card. I mean, I don't really know what it says. It says Pokemon cards. If this is like loads of bulk, then this might not be great, but we shall see. It feels kind of heavy. So I know some of the other ones have like merch and stuff in them, but right now I could do with a knife. Tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna should get into it. So we're gonna pull this open and we've got like a makeshift setup here in the hotel room. But the impossible box to get into. Oh, okay, actually, we got a couple of trick or trade packs in there, so that's okay, that's some sealed product. We have got a mini tin as well, so that's okay, but the rest, I'm just gonna show you guys, is literally, just, luckily it was only $20, but that might be the biggest fail so far. So we're gonna put that down there and pretend that didn't just happen. I'll open these and see what we get in a moment. Next up, I'm gonna go in with this. It's like a little Happy Meal and I just thought the box was really cute. Now in here, it's a mix of different things, but you do get a Pokemon banknote. They're like custom little, and I got a Pikachu, I can see it already. I was gonna say they're like custom little artworks. Oh, look, oh, actually, okay, I think they all have Pikachu, but I have got Blastoise on it, so I'm gonna pull it out of the plastic so you can actually see it. So this one was also $20, I think, as well, so that's pretty cool. This stand actually had all of these available um, on their table for sale, but I think they've added them into their mystery bag. So that, so far, is definitely one of my favorites. Then in here, you get a range of packs as well, so you get a little sticker, and you also get, okay, a loose card as well. And then we get a range of packs. So we have Japanese and English. I can see brilliant stars and evolving skies in here. So actually, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a good one. So let's pop these to the side. I'm gonna save the mystery slab from Godzilla till last. Hopefully it's good. The color is very on brand there. Right, next up we got this $20 mystery Pokemon bag. It's literally a little shopping bag with a little bit of sellotape on it. So we're gonna rip into this. I think there's a slab in here. There is a slab in here. So we have got two booster packs, I think. We have got Fusion Strike and Lost Origin. And then we have a CGC slab, which is, you guys tell me in the comments right now this second, have I been scammed? <laughs> okay, I mean it's a quite a derby Pikachu. <laughs> I should have spent more on the mystery boxes guys. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that there. 
And then we have got our slab before we open up some of the packs. So this was $30 for one slab. And I think this is, okay, this is PSA. I thought it was CGC for a moment there. Okay, so it's not a card. <laughs> I wonder what it is. We have got one of the stickers. Series one rare gold sticker in a PSA 8. It's the Gengar, which is pretty cool. So I will take that. And what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to give away both of these slabs. If you subscribe, comment, and leave a like on this video. But let's open some packs. Right, we're going in with some pack openings. So let's see if we can save any of these mystery boxes. So I bought as many, it's all right, hold on, not bad. I bought as many mystery packs, boxes, pouches as I could see. Collecticon was so big. I know I definitely didn't catch all of them, but I bought as many as I could. So let me know down below if you think any of them were any good. Did I get absolutely scammed and lose all my money? Should I have bought more expensive ones? Because I did see some like $100 mystery bags, but I was a little bit skeptical on some of them. We get the Gore Geist in that first trick or trade. And these are last year's trick or trade packs as well. So got the little $1.99 uh, stick on right there. Just realized these are this year's trick or trade packs. Okay, so we've got the Dusk Noir Hollow right there. Because they've got the green writing on, they come in the big green pouches. Right, let's go with Evolving Skies. If one of these gets a crazy alt art, we definitely really saved it. So far, I think my favorite mystery bag is the one that had the, not ideal, the one that had the banknote in. We've got some Japanese packs in here as well. So we have got, I think this is um, Scarlet, and we get nothing in there. But I wanted to make something fun. I wanted to see how many mystery boxes we could find and see if they were actually any good last time I actually spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on slab mystery boxes and that actually went pretty well so maybe I need to up the budget for the next video right okay oh have we got something in here or is it a troll we have got oh okay I'll take it we get the full art poppy right there that is really nice we'll add that to we'll add that to the giveaway part I think we'll give that away to you guys as well give you guys some goodies going in with brilliant stars another potential to get an all art can't remember the last time i pulled one we get the ev and the magmortar we'll add the ev to the giveaway pile as well and then a little bit of a last pack magic right here the stamps are not up for grabs guys just the good hits from the packs oh mm, okay <laughs> the sus card okay we have the mini tin to open as well right here and let's see if we can get into this one so this came in the bulk box so this was really the only good thing in that box okay so these are the new 151 tins which is pretty exciting two packs of english 151 and we will see what we can get i haven't opened any of these yet so this is a first time on the channel right here. Are we gonna get anything good? Get the Jolteon Hollow. Okay, we'll add that to the bulk in the box. And then pack number two, three, two, one. We get, oh, the Full Art Blastoise EX. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and I'll see you again next time.